Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pomaz video. Today we're gonna go over Classic Elisa and Molga over here, right? Uh, so, Classic Elisa and Molga, very, uh, does a lot of things kind of unit. <laughs> That's a very, very weird way to put it. But uh, yeah, she does a lot of things. I mean, what what else, what else to call it? Swiss Army sort of unit, right? Uh, so obviously she paralyzes, she debuffs like almost every one of the opponent's stats. She sets, um, uh, she, she sets electric terrain, right? She has light screen, like, oh my goodness, does she do a lot of different things. Right? She's pretty fast as well. So, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about it then. Uh, in terms of stats, uh, you actually have a lot of attack, special attack, right? So your max lightning could actually do some decent damage, uh, right? So that's, that's definitely nice. Obviously, it's only like a one-time hit, but it's still solid damage, right? Which is always nice. You have a pretty good Sync Nuke as well. Should be the second strongest Elish type Sync Nuke in the game with uh, this innate. I know very, very low bar. Um, although the number one is also very, very hard to surpass, but uh, still, you know, there's that, I guess. <laughs> um, so, one gauge spam with Thunder Shock is nice too. Nuzzle, even though it's a three gauge, entry freebie, so it doesn't cost any gauges to use first time, and the first time you get, well, not just first time, but you know, when you nuzzle the fire hit, everyone gets uh, paralyzed, which is nice. So you don't have to use it like three times, right? Every, every time costing you three gauges, which is uh, honestly murder. So, uh, let's check out the uh, gauge, and, or not gauge, uh, grid and stuff, right? So in terms of the lucky skill, uh, there's a few ways you could go about it, right? You could go with Crit Strike 2 just for that solid damage on the uh, on the max move and Sync Nuke if you want, right? If you're trying to make her damage healer. If you're not, I guess you could do something like a Vigilant. She's not like the best tank. So her stats are like pretty like mediocre, right, for a tank. But she does have, uh, first of all, Light Screen um, and also a Special Defense buff. So you could take Special hits decently well, right? Even though, again, you know, her stats aren't the best. Not too much physical hits though, but uh, you're special. Also, you do debuff the opponent's uh, attack, so it helps you survive a bit, right? So you could definitely run Vigilance and like as, her as a tank in shorter stages, right? And that's kind of what she is, and also kind of what conflicts in her kit, right? A lot of her stuff in her kit seems like she is made for like shorter battles. You know, for example, Electro Train being only one use, right? You can only use Electro Train once uh, because it's on the max move, right? So you think, okay, she's for shorter battles, but then your like main gimmick is you debuff the opponents, all these stats, which on one hand, okay, you do debuff a lot of them, but like on the other hand, it's only minus one on each stat per use. So you need like six turns, which generally anything over six turns, in my opinion, is just probably longer battles. And uh, well, first of all, your lecture is probably not gonna last that long, right? Although I guess you could, if you're not using lecture terrain on the first sync, even though there are again a lot of um pretty decent electric nukers out there if you're not using it on the first thing i guess you could wait for like the second thing to use it and then maybe everything could still work by that time you still have minus six on all your opponent's stats and then you get like straight up so like maybe yeah i don't know it's it's a the kit is kind of not very well um synergized together i guess if that's the best word anyways uh, moving on to the grid at 1 out of 5, you got uh, absolutely nothing, right? Absolutely nothing over here. Want some speed nodes, that's fine, right? More speed nodes. If you want to tank, I guess, some of the defense nodes, there's nothing at 1 out of 5, right? Uh, overall, I, start, I say her grid's kind of mediocre. There's really not much in terms of, like, I mean, if you want to get her, like, I think one copy's really enough. Obviously, you get it lucky, then sure, more cops are fine or if you just really like elisa it's not like her grids like uh gloria that's like almost basically useless there are definitely some things you could pick up right it's just not anything crazy uh at two out of five you could definitely pick up the uh the thunder shock move gauge refresh which for some reason costs 10 energy <laughs> for already bad enough grid why do you make these nodes so expensive i do not know uh you could pick up the npr over here you could pick up the uh light screen npr stuff right move Move gauge refresh if you want. I mean, I'm mainly picking it up because there's like nothing else. <laughs> you can pick that up if you don't want to get paralyzed. Obviously, if you're not fighting anyone that could paralyze you, then there's no point in that. Some speed nodes, I guess, maybe, if you want. So, yeah, there's, it's two to five, I guess. Pretty uh, pretty straightforward. I wouldn't really care about the nuzzle thing because, again, unless you're fighting like 3v9s and you're really just using a nuzzle once. Oh, or if the opponent clears status conditions on sync, which sometimes happens in that case. I still probably wouldn't pick it up because it's not like really worth it going all the way up there. But on the other hand, 
I guess there's like nothing you really want to pick up anyway, so I guess you could just go up there. Because you know, I mean, if you drop any of these, it's not like a big deal. Like, okay, kind of, okay, it's kind of sucks if you don't have this, but like, if you drop it, it's like not the end of the world, right? Okay, three out of five is obviously where you get a lot of her uh, kit. Um, there's a few ways you could go about this. Shock factor, in my opinion, is probably the best note on her grid, uh, just because it gives you a 20% chance of, um, you know, having all these uh, debuffs in there again. So. 20% chance every turn to minus all these stats by two instead of just one, uh, which is nice. Obviously, he speeds, speeds up the process quite a bit. Uh, everything up here is pointless, in my opinion. Um, if you're trying to sync nuke with her, you pick up like the sync, nuke, sync move power up notes, I guess. Uh, in terms of anything else, if you want to do some damage with the max move, you can pick up the static shock three over here. And let's see, is there anything else? This, if you want more special defense. Uh, or, you know, if you want a chance for the more special defense, although I don't really like it because it's only one M MP, like one MP base moves with like an MPR2 on it is incredibly unreliable in my opinion. Again, you could do it, you could do that, or you could just pick up Barricade Buddies, which is a guaranteed, um, you know, plus one special defense every time you use Light Screen. Although obviously that, you know, you have to use Light Screen twice to get plus two and this only once for plus, uh, Plus, plus two, and if you get another MP refresh, you can max it out, but like, again, the chances are not very good over there. All right, so this is if you want to like do some damage. If you just want to purely, you know, just do like support stuff, uh, you could pick up the staggering for the extra chance to like flinch. That's nice, I guess. Um, you could also pick up a light screen MP refresh over there for more light, light screen, right? Uh, if you don't, think that's necessary you could pick up the barricade bodies instead uh either one i mean they're not that much of it. okay okay the max move is a bit easier you don't have to use like two light screens the light screen you have to like use it twice but uh anyways it doesn't really matter which one pick it up i think this is probably a bit better it's just one move versus two moves right uh or if you don't care about either of those you can do like thunder shock move gauge refresh which is nice you know being one gauge move all and you can still have like static shock three over here i guess so yeah there's some options or mp refresh on this again if you don't really care about doing damage with your sync move at all or not sync move max move at all right pick up that again there's just some options here uh or if you don't pick up anything on her grid she's still fine <laughs> Again, okay, I'm being I'm being a bit unfair. Shock factor is definitely nice, but it's only 20%. It's not like a deal breaker in my opinion. But yeah, anyways, that's the that's the. But uh, I don't hate Elisa. She's like my top three poke girls. Okay, I'm just not a huge fan of the kit. Not that it's bad. Not that it's bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I think it's a little underrated actually, um, because mostly because like all the other crazy units that are coming out this month people kind of overlook this kit but it's definitely solid it's definitely a solid unit i mean deep having all these stats you get lush train you get a really really powerful sync new you get a pretty powerful um max move there as well right like it's definitely she's definitely not but one gauge spam right paralysis definitely early paralysis definitely not bad right all right let's check out the uh, team this is obviously the best team you could make with her i'm kidding you cannot make this just for new players you can't run the same character uh, on the same team unfortunately and for some reason uh i just activated siri i don't know why uh but yeah, on a more serious note you can run him like like n which is nice because n doesn't have like static shock even though i kind of hate static shock nothing gets static shock um, it's more so end status show. It's just like three, <laughs> which is not bad. I'm just slightly salty. He didn't get like static shark five or something. Cause like his sick is really not like that great. Right. It's like around like zip strike levels, which is not bad by the way. I just wish he got something better. <laughs> uh, you can do Sonya over here as well. Once Sonya comes out, uh, cause she's like really good. Plus she's electric. Uh, but you know, since Sonya's not out at the moment, just you still stick with Hilbert. Uh, obviously the upside over here is you could you know, AOE paralyze the opponent. So if you do have like six REX and where he has like the AOE nuke thing, you could, you know, hit them all uh, with the extra 30% on paralysis. Although usually, I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's probably gonna knock them out without the extra 30% anyways. But I mean, maybe at 2K when uh, 2K points, they get a bit more uh, defenses, HP, all that stuff. Maybe it's not that easy, but uh, yeah, there's that. And um, uh, also the other upside is you do get to debuff the opponent's, uh, you know, defenses which makes and do more damage. Uh, the downside is you can only do this for short battles because you only, again, you only get electric train once, right? If it's for longer battles, you definitely want Vulcaner instead still. 
right? So there's that, and that's basically gonna be true for like every electric terrain team that you're gonna throw her in, right? Vulcaner is just better for longer battles with electric terrain. She is, I wouldn't say completely better than Vulcaner in shorter battles, but she's generally, I'd say she's generally better than Vulcaner in shorter battles. Uh, just because she does have, again, a really powerful sync nuke and a pretty solid um, a max move there as well, on top of debuffing the opponent's stats, which Vulcaner can do. Vulcaner can flinch, though, which is nice. And also, Elisa's uh, paralysis is much more reliable than Vulcaner's. But the flinch is really nice. Also, Vulcaner's much better tank. It's, I, I don't know. Uh, Lisa probably takes special hits a bit better. I, I haven't done the math on that, but... Uh, yeah, again, special defense buffs around. Like, she just does so many things that are, like kind of random honestly <laughs> that are bunched together into one kit but yeah you can run these guys together you can run just whatever that she helps right something like a champion iris you could do that uh anniversary n right there's a lot of units that you know need help debuffing the opponent's unit uh, the, the opponents to uh, get their nuke off right uh because i mean especially stuff like anniversary n right yeah you could like do it you know uh, you could do like the the the, the traditional way. The traditional way. What does that even? <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, <laughs> but uh, with the you know noble roar, right? But when you're noble roaring, you're also not using blue flare. Which to be fair, blue flare single target damage not the best, but it's still like still pretty good, right? <laughs> Especially you know early on. If the sides still aren't dead yet, like blue flare is still not like not bad. You want to use blue flare instead of noble roaring, uh, so you could have six of Elisa do that, uh, or not six of Elisa, classic Elisa do that for you instead. Um, although since it's only still minus one per hit, unless you're sinking with a six R E X first, which I guess you don't have an option to, because you don't have a slot for a um, support sunsetter at the moment, support E X sunsetter, right? So I guess you can't really test it. I guess you, I mean. You still have Noble Roar, but you guess, but you'll like Noble Roar like less. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to do as many Noble Roars. Actually, if Singsu, oh no, I keep calling her Singsu Lisa, Classic Lisa. If Classic Lisa doesn't use her trainer move, you could get minus six all on her own, right? Assuming the opponent doesn't buff their attack, which again, a lot of them do buff their attack and special attack uh, a bit, right? But yeah, there's a lot of units that she could help, you know. Clement, if you want to nuke with Clement for some reason, <laughs> right? You got both Cakewalk and uh, and uh, Electric Train up there, you know, whenever Clement gets his 6 RUX outfit, but yeah, a lot of options. Just uh, Wally, just Cakewalk as well, right? Um, there's just so many units that she could help. She's a very, very um, a versatile unit that you could throw into a lot of teams that could uh, make it work. So, anyways. Uh, that's me with this one, I guess. Hope you all enjoyed it. Guys, think of the comments down below. Like, share this video, subscribe, channel for some more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.